When most people think of industry in Beaver County, they think of steel. But in the early 20th century, it was glass that was king. The glass industry in Beaver County centered on the Rochester area. Rochester Point Bottle Works, Rochester Cut Glass, and Keystone Tumbler were some of the early companies doing glass business in Rochester. In 1872, a young businessman named Henry Clay Fry helped form the Rochester Tumbler Company. The plant would stretch across 11 acres of riverfront property and employ over a thousand people at its height. In 1897, Rochester Tumbler was acquired by the National Glass Company. Fry would ascend to president of that firm until a February 1901 fire leveled the plant. Fry decided to go alone thereafter, purchasing a large plot of land just north of Rochester. In 1902, the H.C. Fry Glass Company began production at their new plant. Almost immediately, its products became some of the world's most popular, and by 1910, the company had expanded, building a second plant in Rochester and a third in Flemington, New Jersey. At its peak, H.C. Fry Glass employed over a thousand people in North Rochester. Its products included cut glass, ovenware, tableware, dishware, stone doors, and glass for industrial concerns. The plant also contained its own chemical laboratory and photographic studio. H.C. Fry Glass continued operations until 1933, when the Great Depression took hold in America and made business difficult. Despite its short-lived tenure, the company continues to be appreciated by glass collectors all over the world. The bridge over McKinley Run, which once connected the people of Rochester with the plant, is gone. But this site will long be remembered as the heart of Beaver County's glassmaking past.